Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BT Plays here and today we are on the crew 2 to test out the Porsche 928 Does it does 24 or the Z4, the S4, the S4, the 928S4. There's too many cars. <laughs> um but we are here to test out this vehicle. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel. But let's get into it, shall we? So this vehicle does cost 420,000 crew bucks exactly and 60,000 crew credits as well. So for a street racing vehicle, more on the pricey end, but we will see how well this vehicle obviously performs. And to be fair, I've never seen this vehicle in my life. I don't know if it's me being a rookie or what. I've just never seen this vehicle and I'm glad I've never seen this vehicle because it is actually disgusting no colors look nice on this vehicle <laughs> um we'll put this one on it why not obviously other rims uh we'll add the color it needs the color but yeah this is a shocking vehicle <laughs> i'm sorry to anyone that one likes this and two owns this vehicle in real life but wait the headlights hang on the head Oh, okay. The headlights do come out, which is pretty sick, but they are disgustingly ugly. <laughs> so it's not that cool anymore. Right, sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, something happened. <laughs> My PlayStation just crashed. Uh, but yeah, we're back now. Uh, I think we was on the customization. So let's get to the customization of this vehicle. And yes, this thing is disgusting um, we're gonna get straight to the visual parts so we have eight hoods to choose from not great <laughs> the mat doesn't work well with this color and I'm not changing the 8.4 what no why is the customization so much uh, we have 15 front bumpers as well for any other car 8k would be acceptable but for this car and what it offers no um, what do we go for here? I think one of these ones. They don't look great, but they're still better than basic. We have two front fenders, a wide body, really? We'll put it on anyway. The rims, we'll keep them as they are. Red calipers, even though you can't see them. Three side mirrors. The carbon doesn't do it for me. Do we want normal or carbon? The carbon just doesn't sit well with this colour. No, we can't, sorry. Two rear fenders as well. Get the wide body in there. Five rear wings as well. Okay, some of these wings are a bit strange to have on this vehicle. Do we want the big one or a smaller one? Is that Matt? Uh, thinking of as well, it is, yeah. We'll go with that. Go with the carbon one. We have 15 rear bumpers as well. Okay, and the exhaust change. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't know why they're trying to modernize it at the back. We're going to go with uh, this one. And then interior color, which to be fair, we're going to keep as black. And obviously, you can change delivery and vanity items if you wish to as well. But just look at that. <laughs> I don't want to look at it. So on to the performance now of this vehicle and it is a base level of 150 and it is a street racing vehicle as well. It has a top speed of 164 miles per hour and 316 horsepower. So let us now put some 280 parts on this vehicle and see how well this vehicle looks on paper. And see how well this vehicle actually performs as well because at the end of the day it is a Porsche. All Porsche vehicles I've used personally in this game have been really good. So hopefully this is no exception. It may look disgustingly ugly, but hopefully it performs well. So with the 280 parts on, it has a top speed of 225 miles per hour, 1021 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 2.43 seconds, quarter mile in 9.37 seconds, and brake distance 60 to 0 is 18.45 yards. So Let's just get into it and I'll see you at an event in a second with this vehicle. We are in Vegas 
And to be fair, this thing from the back doesn't look too bad. It's just the front. <laughs> this thing from the back looks alright. It's just the back that... Uh, I mean, it's just the front that really lets it down. The back's fine, I think, anyway. The, the backs and the sides are alright. But let's test out this vehicle. And this is one of the easiest events in the game by a mile. So we'll see how well it can actually perform in one of the easiest events. And firstly, the handling feels a bit heavy, especially for a street racing vehicle. And the acceleration doesn't feel too good either. The brakes, on the other hand, do feel quite good so far. Definitely feels a lot heavier to turn than... Um, other street racing vehicles and it is also quite low as well because one the camera's lower and then barricades back there at the airport and these ones almost got under them so it's quite a low vehicle let's do this tight turn not bad but yeah the acceleration isn't great I saw it when we first started the event as well it took us quite a while to actually keep up with those at the front which is if you've played this event is pretty much impossible not to be first by the second checkpoint so that's very uh, very worrying but brakes wise yeah the brakes feel pretty good definitely stops the vehicle very fast or slows down the vehicle really fast which is always nice to see and yeah it's an interesting vehicle because I can't lie I was expecting it to be a little bit faster than this especially for the price as well but it seems pretty average so far. I don't know the best car to uh, compare it to. But it does feel very bang average. Probably a vehicle I would like use once in a while. But not all the time. But yeah, very strange vehicle. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely a weird one. But... Out of 10, what am I going to give this vehicle and would I use it again? Like I said, I probably would use, I wouldn't actively use it all the time, but if it was in a summit, I would use it. It wasn't too bad. Out of 10, because it costs, what, 400,000? I think 420,000 crew bucks, which is quite a lot for a street racing vehicle. And there is better ones, I think, out there for around the same price or just a little bit more. Uh, customization wise there's a bit of customization but it just didn't make the car look any better really so if you are into nice looking vehicles probably don't choose this one in my opinion and the performance brakes they were good acceleration definitely wasn't the best and fastest car I've, I've used especially street racing wise there is definitely better options out there for cheaper and pretty much for the same price and handling felt a bit heavy as well but overall out of 10 what am I going to give this vehicle I'm going to give it a 6.3 out of 10 it wasn't the worst thing I've ever used and it wasn't the best thing I've ever used it was a very average vehicle so yeah I think a 6.3 is fair and if you have used this vehicle don't forget to tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new and I'll see you in the next video